Hey filmmakers, Xiongli here. In this video, I'm releasing a cinematic slow zoom preset for Premiere Pro. So I have here a big set here. So this uh, folder it contains all the presets. It's actually a quite simple effect. You can easily keyframe yourself. So let's look at the effect here. So you can see these clips have like a slow zoom in or a slow zoom out while the shot is happening. And these are not done in camera. These are edited in post. It is a very easy effect to do it yourself. However, uh, if you have a lot of clips and you wanted to add these to uh, these zoom after you have edited all the clips, keyframing all of them gonna take a lot of time. So I've made a uh, yeah preset list and Personally, for me, I just drag and drop these. It makes everything so much faster to do. So you don't need to keyframe it manually uh, every time. So you can quickly just drag and drop the one that you need. And if you don't like it, you just control Z to uh, remove it and yeah, change to another one with a different speed. So there's a different kind of speeds and zoom in percentages. So you can see the amount I've made the presets for 4K on 1080p and 4K for on 2.5K. And if you have like a, a clip that is on the same timeline or the same uh, settings as your timeline, just use these ones. So these don't zoom in as much or zoom out uh, and zoom in as much because uh, you don't want to have too much quality loss. So now actually going to show you how to do one manually first. So I'm now here on a 2.5k timeline. I'm going to drag a clip over here. Doesn't need to be this long. Make it shorter. So this is a 2.5k clip. It's already zoomed in because this is at 100%. So I'm going to change this to uh, fill the screen on 2.5k uh, 4k to 2.5k is uh, 6 point set or 67 percent so now it's it fully filled the screen and now we can add a keyframe here and when we want to zoom in uh, maybe not too much and not too fast let's make it uh, 75 and now when we play this clip can see a very nice slow zoom in and we can also reverse these keyframes to make a zoom out. So this is how you do that slow cinematic zoom. But uh, of course I've made a preset. So in the description below you will find a link where you can download them. Once you have downloaded the file and unzip it, go to your preset bin, right mouse click on here on the preset bin itself and choose import preset and import the correct file. Once you have imported the file, you find in the preset bin, uh, Shungda Cinematic Slow Zoom, and you'll find all these presets. And to apply them, so I've now on a 2.5K clip, let's actually remove these and return this to normal. So if I'm just editing and I will just want to directly do this, uh, I can go to, this is a 4K clip on 2.5K. And let's do maybe a much faster one. Let's do, um, yeah, the 67 to 100. That would zoom in much more and be much faster also. So you can see it's much faster zoom and zoom in much more. And if we do like the 75, it's much slower. And doesn't zoom in as much. Let's move that. Control C. And if want to do a slow zoom out, can do that also. So it makes it much easier with Control Z. You can just go through several ones instead of just playing around with the keyframes the whole time. So it's much quicker to play around with these preset, drag and drop them. So that was mainly it. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. See you guys the next time. Bye bye.